three, four hundred police here. Uh, and the protesters, you know, the police are much more concentrated, so you can have a better sense of, of how many there are. But the protesters have uh, greatly dispersed, and they are, you know, no longer in a large group like we originally saw when uh, the announcement on the grand jury's decision was first made. They have greatly dispersed, and uh, so there's real no cluster of protesters at all. The dollar store is just a little bit up to the left. We'll continue uh, walking up Florissant uh, Road. Again, we're looking at the uh, police department that is just off to the right. Uh, this is the compound where many of the news media has been set up off to the left. But I can't tell from here, uh, with the dollar store being a little farther up, if there's been any looting there. But here is clearly where the police have set up their, uh, their efforts to protect the fire department and uh, you know, keep anything from happening here. But if you look off to the right, this is where the huge police line was, and right out here is where all the main protesting was, was happening. And this is the police department right up over here. So, you know, it seems like things have dispersed a great deal. I can hear some protesters chanting, and they could be up on the other side of the police barricade, but we can't tell really from our vantage point here. But obviously you can see dozens and dozens of police in their riot gear right across the street there. Uh, protecting the fire department. Um, there may be City Hall there. I'm not, not sure, but we can tell it's obviously the fire station. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, what you've got here is mainly, you know, a lot of news media over here with some protesters. Um, and otherwise, you know, there's no large cluster of people. Seems things have dispersed quite a bit, guys. Hey guys, what you're looking at is police with their riot gear and their heavy artillery, military artillery here uh, in the main cluster. We've got a few protesters here yelling at them, police obviously tolerating all the yelling. Uh, that doesn't matter to them. They've been trained to you know, just ignore that and let people say whatever they want. But you know, if you look up top, you can see sandbags on the top of this uh, St. Louis County a police armored vehicle. A uh, man up there with a tear gas mask on, and what you can't see there, he's got, obviously he's looking through binoculars, looking to see if he can see any protesters that are, um, you know, up on roofs or out in the distance, so, um, you know, this is the main area. There seems to be some protesters uh, behind us, guys, but um, it, a few yelling, but otherwise peaceful with the protesters, but obviously police here, uh, you can tell by how they're prepared that they're taking no chances. Thank you. 